Hi guys, I'm here at the British Museum and today we're starting a new series, Aliens and Strangers, looking at the period of the exile in the Bible and what that can teach us today. So what I've done is come here today to look at some actual artefacts from that period of time in that place of Babylon and the surrounding areas. So we're going to look at some of them today and show that the Bible isn't just something that we read on a piece of paper, but there's actual historical evidence for the things that we're reading about. One of the ancient civilizations around during the period of the exile is the Assyrians, and you can see some of their artifacts behind me here. Things you can see behind me are from Sennacherib's palace, who was the Assyrian king that came and took the northern tribes of Israel into exile about 100 years before the Judeans and people living in Jerusalem were taken into exile later. So we were just in the section looking at the Assyrians and then what happened in the years that followed is the Babylonian Empire, which is what this is depicting here, came and overthrew the Assyrians and became the major world power and it was the Babylonians that would take Daniel and all these different characters that we read about into exile in the first place. This line that you can see behind me here is from King Nebuchadnezzar himself, from his palace. So it's amazing to think that Daniel himself could have looked at that very same line that is there behind me. This stone here is talking about King Nebuchadnezzar again, and it shows how he was revered and almost worshipped by the ancient Babylonians. So it reminds us of stories that we read in the Bible, like when Nebuchadnezzar built a big bronze statue and asked people to worship him, and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego wouldn't worship him, so they were thrown into the furnace. Well, inscriptions like this show us how this would have actually been possible, that people would have tried to worship Nebuchadnezzar, or he would have had people try to worship him at least. This plaque here is talking about when Belshazzar, a few years after Nebuchadnezzar was king, and how because of his rule he didn't do very well, and so the Babylonians fell to the next empire on the scene, which was the Persians, and this is when King Cyrus the Great comes in. So I hope you've enjoyed this look around the British Museum. The purpose of making this video is really to show us that what we read about, what we're going to look at in the stories over the next few weeks, they really happened in history. And there's not just historical evidence from a written down point of view, but we can actually see artifacts that talk about some of these characters that we read about in the Bible. 